all right what's good welcome back to another bulldogs career video it's around 25 here and we're getting ready to take on the sea eagles we'll be playing at manly brookvale level to be exact and they're currently seventh on the ladder it's pretty much do or die for them winning three from their last five and they're currently coming off a loss as we take a look at their most recent game it was at brookvale level and they fell to the storm 16 points to 12 as we take a look at the match stats here and it was cooper cronk leading from the front getting man of the match i'd be interested to see who actually gets the lm player of the year because I'm not too sure if it'll be one of our Bulldogs. There's been a lot of positional changes during the regular season and no one's really stood out that much. I'm hoping one of our backs get it though so I could make a little make a little highlight video. As we start things off here, 16 minutes into the game, on the back of a penalty, inside their 10, we've got Alicia at dummy half. As we attack the blind through Morris, and he's gonna drive towards the end goal. And he's gonna get held up there. Second tackle. We go wide to Jackson, takes it to the line, and he's stopped 5 meters out. Third tackle here, we go wide to Reynolds, we go wide to Reynolds. It's back inside, a beautiful pass to Josh Morris. They send it to the box to check the grounding, but I'll just show you, I'll show the try as a whole because it was a beautiful bit of ball playing there. I obviously knew that Morris was inside us, so I dummied wide to Graham and caught Morris on the inside. As we get the green lights and go up by four, with the kick to come from right in front, and then by nails the kick. Yeah, so if you pay attention to what players you have around your playmakers, you could pull off some nice little inside balls like that. As we get ready to return the kick here, it's going to be Hopper who picks it up, and he's going to slice right through the defense. I'll admit there was a little bit of cheese in that run, maybe a little bit, but we're going to go through untouched here. As in bike and reds from right in front once again and we go up by 12. Heading into the break, looking at the halftime stats here. No highlights of Manly with ball in hand just because it was simple stuff. It's just a lot of one-up running and a clearance kick at the end of it. Nothing much to show or talk about from Manly's point of view. Back in the second half, we try and kick early but we kick into a Manly defender. Caught by Telfour on the wing and we actually take him into touch. So it works out for us in the end. On their 10 meter line, we go short to Cassiano. And he's going to drive towards the in-goal area, inches away from their try line here. As we look to go to Mbai, tries to dummy and take on the line himself. <laughs> he's tackled for a loss. As we go wide to Morris, a terrible effort at a chip kick into uh, Eastwood's hands as he gets held up. Fourth tackle here. Actually, it's the fifth and last. Sigiara at dummy half. We go left to Reynolds, puts up the high ball. Batted back by Morris and it's caught by Lyon and he's double teamed in goal for the repeat set. Second tackle, Reynolds goes to Brown with numbers here to Jackson. Takes on Stewart and he's going to score the third try of the game as they send it to the box. And we get the green lights. Back with him by for the kick and he's going to slot the two points. Up by 18, Manly still scoreless inside their 10. Game almost over here as we pass to Mbai. He passes to Brett Morris and he's tackled about about a meter out. Third tackle. Shortboard of Cassiano looking to crash his way over. But he's stopped for a loss. Seguiaro goes to the right. Morris steamrolls past one and he's going to drag Stewart over the line. Scoring the fourth try of the game with him by for the conversion to make it four from four. And he slots the two and that's going to be the game. Full time, 24 points to zero. We're in red hot form heading into the... Heading into the finals, as we take a quick look at the full-time stats here, it's not like Manly didn't have any ball, they just couldn't do anything with it. BMOZ picks out Man of the Match, and as always, leave a like if you enjoyed. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Doggies! Yeah, bro!